Hello, thank you for checking out my video today. Today's video is going to be about running FreeDOS on my project. So I just booted this up to save a little bit of time, but uh, let's just pan over here. You can see my project is all connected up over here. It's running off the USB drive there. Now I typically have done MS-DOS on my con uh, project, but uh, FreeDOS is probably a better option for uh, uh, liability purposes. I don't think MS-DOS has been released uh, to the public as open source. Originally I couldn't ever get this to boot. Uh, I kind of was thinking maybe it wouldn't run on an 8088, but I did some reading. And really when you download the drive image off the website, it tries to run a setup file and uh, my computer doesn't like that setup file, so I just manually deleted everything and just made this uh, kind of like a manual install. And I'll, I'll include a download for the drive image in the comments. So, let's just type DIR. You can see uh, for the directory for the DOS, I just named it DOS. I think it normally is named free DOS. Um, auto exec, it's the same auto exec that I've been using, and I included the keyboard uh, file that sets up the keyboard to eliminate any keyboard errors. Uh, I'm going to run through a few DOS programs just to show that they work. Uh, let's just go over to DOS here. It, I do have the path set. So there's your first program. So path is set. The prompt is set. Uh, so you don't have to be in the DOS directory. You can be in the root directory to run DOS files. So this is what we've got on there. It's uh, not too many programs. I was going through the files online. They didn't seem to have as many as MS-DOS has or many options, but anyway, so let's try a trib. Shows your attributes, that works just fine. Um, let's do memory. Shows your memory usage. Uh, FreeDOS seems to use a little bit more memory than MS-DOS, uh, 132K there. Uh, MS-DOS I think is well below that. Type in our version, it shows our version there. Let's see what else we can uh, check out here. We've got edit. And this is the free DOS version, so it looks a little different. Um, so don't have a mouse installed, uh, but we can go here, click new. But seems to work. Seems just a touch laggy. Just exit here. Let's do uh, F disk. We'll just display the partitions. I don't want to be deleting anything. I was playing around earlier. I did put a, a extended partition with a logic drive of D and it worked just fine. Um, on this image you can't do that. It was on my other USB drive. But yeah, you can go in here and edit and delete, destroy your drive, whatever you want to do. It does work. So what else there is? We've got format works. I used that earlier, uh, just on my other PC to make this uh, memory stick. High mem is not going to work. We don't have any high mem. I did copy in uh, debug. That did not come default. Let's just go to the root directory here and debug the keyboard file. 
So this is the keyboard fix. Uh, also kind of a speaker fix too, but it uh, just goes out and writes to the keyboard uh, command port, writes to, let's see, yeah, all command port here. Then this is the control port, it writes out to that. And then there's the speaker stuff here. I think that was to try to eliminate any uh, tones with the speaker. And then it just returns the operating system just fine. So let's see, uh, registers. So this, this is a little different for me. I, I haven't used FreeDOS much, but it looks like it displays registers normal. We can dump. While we're in here, we can take a look at our, uh, our memory. Just dump the, uh, this is the uh, interrupt table. Looks like, uh, looks pretty standard. Got some blank spots in there. This is your boot code here, jump far, boot signature in there. Let's just uh, go ahead and dump some place where we know there is no memory and see what it gives us. All just E8, so it's just pulling some something out of thin air. I bet it'll pull E8 all the time. I mean, you can always dump uh, the video memory, so you get your black and white and characters. So we'll just exit that. Um, so if there's anything else we can kind of hit while we're in here. Um, FreeDOS is supposed to run everything DOS will, so you can download your games or other applications and try them out. Um, so I don't see anything that we could just try right off that's going to be simple. Sys works. I've, I've done that. We don't need to do that for anything. So I'm going to shut this down. I'm going to show you booting with a larger USB drive. So if you, you can, like, I would only do this if you need the drive space. So I'm going to put the 15 megabyte drive image as a download. Uh, if you really want the larger one, I guess email me and I'll see what I can do for you. So it's going to boot up just as fast, just as normal. It, uh, Seems a lot of programs the same speed. The only the only issue with the large drive is when you type dir to compute the uh, free drive space. We gotta figure out that there's 256 megabytes of free drive space, and so it takes uh, quite a while. I mean, I guess you could time it here on the video, but I bet it's upwards 30 seconds. But after you type it once, it always loads quicker. Uh, talking about that logic drive earlier, so I had a 50 megabyte partition for the main, for the C, and then the logic drive was 199. And something to do, it took forever like this just to do the directory. So for the sake of speed, if you're not putting a lot of files on, I just keep your, your uh, partition size small. There you go. But we can just try to run a, a program here. I didn't have to go to DOS. But, okay, this, this one doesn't have debug, but let's try edit. It should load same speed. It's just that calculation of the uh, free space that takes forever. So this DOS shell, we could try that, see if it crashes. I don't, there's no DOS shell on here. Unless free DOS calls DOS shell something else. But anyway, uh, that's a quick demo of uh, running free DOS on here. Like I say, I'll put in the comments a, a download for the uh, drive image for the 
15 megabyte. I, I might throw in the uh, 256 as well for those who want to try it. Um, so, anyway, uh, thanks for checking out my video today.